The New World PTR is finally being updated with the Sandworm and we're going to go through the patch notes right now. It's worth noting that it's 1am in the UK, I'm quite tired and this is going live I think in about 3 hours and then the downtime will last 2 hours so it's going to be a little bit tricky for me to actually play it when it goes live but I'll be trying to do the worm in the morning. So you can actually see it's the tweet where this is going live, they say it's going to be tonight at 8pm PDT time you'll have to convert that. In the morning and you're in the UK right now or EU, you'll probably wake up to this news and it'll be live right now. The patch notes themselves though are interesting. It's going to have the Sandworm Trial and the Siege of Sulphur. That's basically the event and this is the raid, obviously. To help get through the Elite Trial, they're adding basically a buff that will give you effectively the three major wildlife combat trophies so you don't actually have to put them up. There's a couple of changes to some quests, nothing really interesting here I don't think. Basically at this point a lot of it is fixes to stuff that they broke effectively. A little change to the depths, they reduced the health of the apocalypse mines in the mutator mode. Alright, it's a little bit too late for me to understand this one so I'm just going to read it. Revised expedition elite enemies to remove pushback applied from player attacks that don't cause a stagger. Example, light attacks. That'll mean something to somebody but not me right now. I'll dredge up a few more challenges. Let's wait. There's no challenge in an uneven fight. Or do I have any eager spectators who wish to try their luck? Basically, this is getting removed because it was annoying. They have doubled the cap for the faction tokens at all levels. Pretty much sure that this was going to happen anyway. Pretty sure it was already in the previous version, but you know, they've doubled it now and at max level it's 150k. Fair enough. A lot of people still unhappy because of the trophies, but we're not talking about that too much here. Weaver's friend has now got the um, the global refining yield that was previously assigned to First Light. Now this one, I would sort of understand if it made sense. They are changing the base weight of some of the weapons and you can see some of them are going a little bit up. I think spears, for example, people are saying that's going right, right up. These, to me, this one looks too heavy. Like the weapons are too heavy, but I mean, I don't know what they're doing here or why. It's just going to mess with your inventory a little bit. Yeah, somebody will explain it, but I don't get it. And then the actual change that I thought was coming in is now actually in. A lot of the gear that would drop Resilient and Ward will not really now be dropping together. That applies to a lot of these items here, which is obviously very good. Corrupted Breaches, on the other hand, they are now always going to roll either a Bane or a Ward. And there's some interesting changes to the loot from the Corrupted Breaches as well. So for example, some of the weapons are having their Mortal Lifesteal swapped to other um, perks. I know people in the Discord, they were trolling a little bit about this one because the musket is going from Mortal Lifesteal and getting swapped to Refreshing Power Shot. I mean, I don't know if this affects the ability of the weapon that already exists, but it's going to be important nonetheless. They've actually added a new Bundabust that can be dropped from these as well. I think they might be doing this because they can be upgraded, probably. Little note with the Season Pass, crafting an infused orb at the kiln will now grant you small amounts of seasonal XP. Cool, nice. Couple of extra little fixes, but I'm not really going to talk about them too much. Like, it's just too late for me in the day. And uh, I need to get to bed so I can get up and then play this. Obviously, I'll leave a link in the description. Some of you might be wondering where one of my previous videos was gone. I was did a video talking about why I think the expansion might be delayed. There's a bit of confusion about it, so I'm just going to ditch it for now. I'm a little bit disappointed we didn't get it at the Summer Games Fest, but it's very possible that they're just going to wait for Season 2 and then do the expansion trailer. I think it's a little bit unusual, but it might be following the Brimstone Sands methodology. If that's the case, great. It's a little bit different from other MMOs out there, but it is what it is. I am a little bit worried that the expansion might end up being delayed. Season 1 was delayed, the PTR has been delayed, the original release was delayed. Delays aren't uncommon, and for something that might be as big as the expansion, you know, a delay might be something that would happen. But let's wait and see. I don't want to like put a doom. I don't want to be a doomer. So let's just ditch that one and we'll see what we get. But I'm sorry that I got everybody's hopes up. I was convinced it was happening. It didn't. It is what it is. Okay, let's edit this video, get it online, head to bed, wake up, do the worm. Let's go.